So today I'm in a property that is going to be an HMO. It's not quite an HMO yet, as you'll see. Uh, in a minute, I'm going to spin the camera around and we'll do a, a little guided tour. Uh, it's a, a work in progress. We're probably four or five weeks away from it being finished. Um, I realise I haven't done a, a video in an HMO for quite a while. Um, I can't remember the last time I did one in a, a HMO that was underway. And I think it probably deserves a, a mini series. We get quite a lot of questions about HMOs. And broadly speaking, as ever, they fall into the three categories. How to find them, how to fix them, and how to rent them out. Um, I think, well, I'll tell you what, while I'm, while I'm talking, I will spin the camera around and we'll do, our, we'll do a little tour, okay? So, so here we are, we're in the, uh, the top floor, the top floor room. Uh, it's a bedroom up here. Um, it's a bit dark in there, but that, that will be an ensuite. And if I swing around, you'll see we've got a, a skylight there. And as usual, actually, the, uh, the top floor bedroom is uh, one of the bigger ones. Probably in this room, the uh, house, the biggest. So yeah, we get, uh, we get asked quite a lot of questions about HMOs, find, fix, rent, how to find them, how to fix them up and how to rent them. Uh, I think over the last couple of months, our focus on HMOs has been a little bit different. We rent out over, over 300 HMO rooms. Um, quite often we're thought of as a single let specialist. Um, but yeah, we've got lots of, lots of HMOs. Um, Covid times um, were a bit of a disaster for, for HMO rooms at the uh, beginning of uh, April yeah, last year when uh, the lockdown ended. Uh, we had over 140 empty rooms which is unprecedented and, and a bit scary. Uh, just down here in the, so this is the front room. The uh, ensuite there going in. This is actually quite a new thing for us. I've probably got a better one to show you but we've got the uh, um, uh, panel, plastic panels and um, plastic laminate flooring going in there which is quite new, usually we'd tile it. But you can see in an HMO, generally speaking, we're, we're replastering everywhere, all new electrics and um, chopping around rooms necessitate that. So let's, let's, let's keep walking. Yeah, like I said, 140 empty rooms, HMOs. So our focus was really on get, getting those filled. Um, and uh, yeah, maybe, maybe in certain ways reassessing or certainly checking again that HMOs are still working the way that they were pre-COVID and that everything's, everything's fine, you know, we're gonna carry on. Um, clearly now, and it is clear to us now that yeah, there's, there's no structural changes, everything is, is as it was. The, um, the 140 empty rooms, almost all of them are now rented. In fact, well, hopefully by the time you, you, <laughs> you would listen to this, they, they are. Um, it did take quite a while to, to clear that backlog. Um, during that time, of course, with the new, new properties were coming on stream. There was stuff that was still being built during lockdown, um, HMOs, and, and they are rented or renting now as well. So we're happy to press the button and carry on. Uh, my guys, you all right? So, oh, you carry on, you carry on, it's fine. Well, right, just, just show me your good side, there you go. So plastering out in there, and uh, there's, a, there's an old... There's an ensuite going in there as well. So if you look back here, we've got a yeah, the main door there, that's the ensuite, and then into the bedroom. Makes it quite a nice big bedroom as well. So I'll go downstairs. Um, so yeah, I think now's the time to do a, a little video uh, mini series on, I'll, I'll, I'll make it into three. How to find an HMO, how to fix an HMO, and then how to rent and manage an HMO. Um, Fixing them up, as you can see, just by this little walk around. We're in the front bedroom now, and this, this you can see on the street there, this would have been the living room. So um, put nice blinds on here, bed fits in easily, got an ensuite, and we turn this front room into a bedroom. And that's how you, you get that extra room. This is a six bed, as you'll see in a minute. Um, more to the renovation, more in depth. Uh, You'll almost certainly be into building regulations, maybe planning permission. There's more to it, but it isn't, it isn't an insurmountable. Maybe it shouldn't be your first project. You know, maybe you uh, try a buy to let out before, uh, but it's not, it's not so tricky. And I'll run through in this little video mini series what the renovation looks like as well. So where to find them, what the renovation looks like. This is the kitchen or will be the kitchen. And then I think probably most overlooked maybe, uh, but very much 
the most important thing, how you run and manage them. Um, let me spin this back now. So back onto my ugly mug. Um, yeah, so I'll record a little mini series, how to find, fix and rent a, 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 an HMO. Um, and what I started talking about there was um, managing a uh, HMO. You can make really hard work of it. I see people regularly make hard work of it. Um, there's a way to manage a property portfolio, an HMO property portfolio. It just makes really quite light work of it. Getting the right people involved at the right time, getting the right management plan in time. Um, we, we, we put our management plan, we call it a, a risk management dash, dashboard, because it is that. It's, it's, it's getting all your, uh, your I's dotted and your T's crossed, making sure that uh, everything's running smoothly. Uh, smoothly means safely, um, without building up liabilities in terms of, you know, I, I, I could, could come a cropper here. And it means most profitably as well, because if you're doing things right, that money filters down to the bottom line and you are doing things most profitably. So, uh, yeah, I'll start the series now. Hopefully that's been a useful um, rundown. Uh, I'll put the numbers on this property. I know that this will be, a, generally speaking, we try and spend under £200,000 on an HMO, putting it all together. That's buying it and, uh, and fixing it up. We work on a pounds per room basis and uh, we're looking to make between 800 and 1,000 pounds, sometimes 1,200 pounds net net on an HMO every single month. Um, a useful comparison, I think, for, for lots of people. Um, you know, the question quite often is, should I go for HMOs or single legs? Uh, and for a, a, a really nice way to answer that is, it's, it's your preference, it's a personal choice. And if you were to think of three single legs, very roughly they equal one, HMO, both in terms of how much capital they put in, how much profit they bring out, and to a lesser extent, how much time they take to manage. Probably three single lets would take about the same amount of time as an HMO to manage. It can vary month to month, and it all depends, but that's a really nice way to, 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 to think about it. You also um, might want to take on board, if you are fully single let, yeah, Single let, single let, single let. And lots of people are, nothing wrong with that at all. Um, having one HMO every eight, nine, 10, 12 properties might not be a bad thing if you are looking to buy, refurbish, rent, and refinance. And then throughout the life of the property, you know, every decade, every five, 10, 15 years, whatever it is, to refinance again. Now, as soon as you are, have four properties or more, you're a portfolio landlord. And every time you buy a new property or refinance an existing one, there will be a stress test on your portfolio, the rent cover, the rent versus all the loans going out in aggregate for the entire portfolio, not just property by property, uh, will need to be assessed. If you put a HMO in to your portfolio, every eight, nine, 10 properties, it will keep that in balance, even as you keep refinance over time. So that's always worth bearing in mind. Um, I'm going to stay here. I'm going to record a little mini series, find, fix, and then I'm going to go to another one that's almost finished and do the, the rent part of that as well. So stay tuned for the, uh, for the mini series. Watch out for the first part. Bye for now.